The children of Syria have already lost so much. Their homes, family members, schools. But there's yet another challenge they face. Most refugees fled with nothing but the clothes on their backs, with the children wearing little more than sandals and light clothing. Now living in makeshift shelters, winter's arrival to the region means brutally cold weather and life-threatening conditions. UNICEF has been inside refugee camps and inside Syria, helping hundreds of thousands of children with life-saving health care, water, food, and protection. But as winter approached, it was clear these children had fled with nothing, and they desperately needed warm winter clothing. So we turned to our wonderful corporate partners, and as always, they were there. Donations of clothes and boots for children ages 5 through 12 poured in. UPS came through by donating warehouses in New Jersey and Kentucky. And volunteers from UNICEF and UPS gathered to pack the clothing and send it to 20,000 children waiting in the war-torn region. The clothing we're packing is designed for 0 to 14-year-olds. These kids have survived bullets, bombs, chemical weapons. At least we're going to help them get through the winter. When I think of kids that are freezing and in conditions such as they are in Syria, it breaks my heart. And so today, my Saturday was easy to give up. We're putting clothes and supplies in a box and knowing that the next time that box is opened, a child is going to know that we're looking out for them. Months later, in Lebanon and Iraq, the contributions of clothing and boots brought smiles of relief to refugee children who had been braving the cold. And in camps across the region, the same scene was played out again and again, thanks to UNICEF's wonderful donors. Our partners literally saved these kids' lives by helping us to protect them from the harsh elements this past winter. But the crisis for Syrian refugee children is only getting worse. And next winter, we will desperately need more help as the number of refugees continues to swell by the hundreds of thousands. These kids are so courageous and resilient. They're so grateful for the little that they get. No child should go through a winter suffering from the cold. And if we and our partners step up to the plate together, we can protect these children. We can help them get through the winter and we can make sure they know they have not been forgotten.